Okay, and I'll move the town manager is mm. Isa 252 and 983. Yeah. That would be the subtotal line for those. Yeah. It, you know, we were always a little stiff getting going. We get better yeah. as we go along. So on page three, the subtotal line, $252,983. Yep. Yeah. Second. Now, if you'd like to join us. be tough to not call you cheap anymore. <laughs> but two more days? One. One more day. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, November. Well, yeah. <coughs> Tomorrow's my last day. Yeah. In that role. As chief. As, As chief of police, yes. Well, thankfully, you're still you're still with us. Thank you. So I'd be happy to answer any questions you have to the best of my abilities. All right. Well, this is, does the salary line change? Yeah, basically, the, the what that line <laughs> is is that's the salary line for the town manager his assistant and the position that's been created as assistant town manager my position. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the biggest number is the inclusion of the new salary. Uh, there was an adjustment that the selectman had made to the town manager's salary after his um, contract renewal. Um, that's included and similarly for the administrative assistant, uh, similar pay rows included. That's what makes up those total numbers. Everything else is flat. Yeah. Um, I, I have a problem with it, Madam Chairman. All right, Jerry, I'll start on your side. Yeah. We'll go around the table. Everybody will. Yeah, my, my problem is certainly not with Jamie. He's well educated and very experienced in, in working to the town. But I don't believe a town of 15,000 should have a town manager and an assistant town manager. I don't know what Jamie in the position was announced at 80 or 82 or whatever. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a load to shoulder for the taxpayers. But it's a yeah. policy decision, Jerry. I, I'm not finished, please. The, um, we took hours out of the legal department. I know Wanda died. That's too bad. I, that's unexpected. I feel sorry for her family. She was in a legal department working when I left in 2012, part-time on HR and full-time on legal. This is going to drive the outside legal costs up. No question about it. One man cannot run that department. To go all of the planning, the zoning plans, the planning plans, to sit with the chiefs, to go over the whole thing, to you know preside over the legal aspect, and to go to court for tax abatements, and go to court for any legal challenges to the town. He won't be able to do it. So in my, from my <coughs> perspective, we took hours out of a required area and moved them to a luxury position. And I don't think, I'm not saying this as a, uh, personally to, to Jamie. But it's a luxury position, in my opinion, and we took ours out of a required department and put them in a luxury position to serve HR slash assistant town manager. Now, when I left in 012 as a selectman, Wanda was 10, 15 hours <coughs> making the most HR. Now, unless an explosion occurred, um, I, would, I would think she would be roughly in that same neighborhood. So I am not for this at all. I wouldn't have voted for it if I was a selectman, and um, you know, I, I uh, that's that's kind of my position on it. That's not the only the only line item here. All the other stuff, the Christine five hours extra a week or whatever is insignificant, relatively speaking. The expenses are in line. You look at the expenses: 11, 12, 13, 14 actually annualized. It's this elephant in the room right now: the assistant town manager's position, not the person, the position. I'm not for it. Thank you. I agree with Jerry. I, I, I don't agree with this. This is an issue for the Board of Select. We make the budget. Mm -hmm. And I might add, the default budget has the same figures in it. We were backdoored into the default budget. The people in March of 2014 voted a default budget. This wasn't included in it. This is a backdoor entry, and they have to shoulder it either way. Either shoulder it, that even if they fail this budget, the default budget carries the numbers. And that's another thing we're going to have to discuss down the road in terms of a challenge someplace in concrete. Okay. I don't want $26 per thousand like Exeter. Uh, obviously, I was on the board of selectmen and was 
I was in favor of this. Uh, I think it can work out. I think it can work out. So I'm in favor of it. Uh, Madam Chairman, I uh, echo uh, <clears throat> Jerry's uh, Sonoy's remarks. And uh, what really violates the whole thing more than the activity itself is an in run around the voters. The voters did not get to decide if this is a position they want or not, <coughs> plus the salary that went with it. You've already put it in a default budget, which I think is totally wrong, very problematic at the very best. So I think that. I'm definitely against this increase. I think it should remain at the <clears throat> level it was at before we started in the beginning of 2014 at 142, 625. Brian. I will agree with the entire side of the table uh, from what they've said. I also have a problem, and I guess I'm starting to nitpick, but. Sixteen hundred dollars for um, special projects. Um, I'm seeing this throughout. You know, I'm just bringing it up now because I'm seeing it throughout the entire budget. It is an extra thousand, two thousand for this, that, and the other thing, and I have no idea what they're for, other than you know, over, over to someone else was here. You would call it fluff, but. Um, we gotta start somewhere. So Where, where's the sixteen hundred dollars? Under uh, it's under OT wages. Subtotal part time wages. Mm-hmm. What, J Jamie? Can you speak to that? What? 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 Uh, no, it's overtime uh, wages. It's OT wages. Right. Yeah, wages from yeah, Christina, she has overtime that, that she has. Yeah, that's what it is. Sort of that's what it is. During like a January for town meeting yeah. kind of report. Oh. Uh, Okay, at least yeah. that's a little explanation because it's not a special project, it's an yeah. overtime. Well, that, well, yeah, but I'm just reading what it says here. Yeah. And okay. All right, thank you. So, you might want to cross out special projects and just view it as overtime, everyone. Right. I just need a couple of points of clarity. Um, Chief Sullivan, um, it's going to be awkward not without the Jamie's team. fine by me. I yeah. know. It's just. <laughs> We're used to seeing you with your police uniform. <laughs> you look a little different. <laughs> Is the entire salary for um, this position of assistant manager coming out of this part of the budget? Or is there anything that was, since we, I guess what I'm getting at is, since HR was part of legal. the legal the department. The salary will come out of that line item. To my understanding, the only other costs associated with it are the, the FICA and the things that come out of the general wage accounts. There's no right. benefits associated with it, so those were savings right. on the this other This is a part-time position. Right. And it's all coming out of this account, nothing out of the legal account. That's correct. So we should see somewhat of an offset there. There is. If yes. we're just yeah. dealing with, with the dollars, which is all yes. I want to do right now. Some of the other issues belong in another camp, but right now for the dollars, you're looking at an increase here. You may want to see the whole picture before we make moves on anything. And well, Madam, to that point, as a net total, and Mr. Wardle can speak to this if you want, the board went over those numbers in a recent meeting and showed mm -hmm. that with the removal of all of the benefits package, the change in hours for um, uh, Christina and my salary, there's a net savings to the town total for that new position. That's what the selectmen have announced. Mm -hmm. So right. that's what the, the numbers work out. So when you remove, you know, the uh, health insurance issues and some of the other, there's, there's accounts yeah, that are washed, there's no retirement contribution, that type of stuff. So yeah. um, there's a net savings to the town with this position that the town is going to realize. Right. Small, but net. And, and let me ask you this, and this is where I need, like, the big picture. And excuse me, guys, for the, needing that. We debated long and hard about whether we needed one or two attorneys, as some of you know who sat on this board for a while. Um, and when we got to the end, we needed two attorneys. Now we have one attorney. We have a new position. I don't know how long Fred will be with us. I'm assuming that any buddy who's in second position someday will be at the helm. And 
I guess my question is, is this a permanent position? Is this here to stay for... If you left tomorrow, would we have a rehire in this position? And then at some point, if we had a manager who left and moved on and, and whoever was in this position became the town manager, would we then refill this position? Yeah, I think you're you're talking and talking to hypotheticals, and I can't really answer at this point. What I can say is the intention from you know my perspective. Obviously, some of this you can speak to Jim as the board's perspective, but um, this position was taken with the loss of Wanda. Uh, there was a need that was ne that would met, needed to be met. Um, I happen to have a skill set that helps with that mm -hmm. tremendously, um, and the board uh, felt that that was a a, a good thing to do. Um, was my understanding they weren't looking to refill that as a as a uh, second attorney at that point in time, and this position was created. Um, now, as far as the future is concerned, Mr. Welch just signed a three-year contract, so he's going to be here for at least that period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, my contract is similarly for a three-year period, so I don't think <coughs> we're looking to do anything different for a period of time. Okay. I guess I'm just trying to look at the whole picture, and, and unfortunately <coughs> I'm going back and forth between legal and mm -hmm. the manager's um, department, which maybe is unfair because we're not doing legal right now. But I would assume with this move, now we have eliminated entirely for some foreseeable time, not just a one-year event, the second attorney position. That is my belief, yes. Okay, I think now, again, that's again, policy-wise, you intention. need to speak to the, the board about that, but absolutely the intention, I believe, was not to refill that position to move forward with the structure that we currently have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just felt it important to clarify that going forward and that, you know, we're not looking at this maneuver in 2015, right. and when we get to 2016, we'll all be sitting here going, oh, we've really decided we need the second attorney because then we'll be back to the original argument on how many attorneys we needed. Can't speak to the future, but the plan is from what what has been devised by the board and discussed with the manager that this position is going to fit the needs they see going forward, we see going forward. Okay. Thank you. Just to stay as the assistant town manager. I'm Fred sorry, sir? Are you going to stay as the assistant town manager when Fred comes back? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, right now I'm That's sort of doing um, sort of double, triple duty as Fred's out convalescing. Yeah, so. I've got another. Uh, uh, we're going to go around, uh, and I've asked you all okay. to try to do it in your first round. If you're not prepared, when we go around once, we're not going to go across back and forth. Um, okay. Mike, thank you. Well, this clearly is a management decision. Uh, I'm not sure that it was done the way it should have been done. But we have to go through this process. We have a public hearing when we get towards the end of our stuff. And I'm certain that uh, with the discussion tonight and what's going to take place in the next month or so, that the public may come to the public hearing and, and favor that side of the table or, or favor the book or who knows. Uh, certainly the public will have some input on this. Uh, I don't think that this committee should take it out tonight. I think it should stay here for a little while and get some public feedback. The Board of Selectmen has set a policy and they've done it. Whether we agree or disagree, it's been done. And I, and I think it should go through the steps and let the public exercise their opinion at the public hearing. We, we then have time to change it if we so desire, or we could leave it if, if we get the input for it. That's it, I think, tonight. Thank you. I have, um, Jerry makes a good point. The question I have is that my understanding is it's 32 hours a week. That's correct. Yeah. Now, I may be wrong, but I believe that the law is that benefits have to be provided. In your case, you've got benefits from your retirement, okay? Uh, no, but, but my benefits will be paid out of my pocket. There is, uh, it, it just so you're clear. benefits from the police department? It doesn't no. have any, it doesn't weigh in on this. Okay, That's I'm sorry, part okay. I'm wrong then. Not, okay. not, not to... I just okay, want to jump in here. Deal with the position only as okay. it exists, not anything else okay. anybody may have. The, 
The thing that my understanding is that under the new law with uh, Barack, uh, President Barack Obama, the Affordable Care Act, that anybody that works more than 30 hours a week has to have benefits. Is that correct? It's a very complicated issue, but in a nutshell, they have to be offered certain benefits. Uh, that won't be an issue for me because I will have benefits. The, okay. the position that the town has, and again, it's a fairly complicated process, but uh, th there's a process by which um, you have to have offered <coughs> benefits, um, and, and all of that is appropriate and has been taking place. I, I have my own benefits. And so, you know, as part of the sale, um, you know, the, one of the things is that, you know, we'll be saving money because we don't have to give you benefits. Now, the next person we hire, okay, as once you either leave or move up and we have to hire another person for 32 hours, now that person will probably get benefits and retirement package and all the things no, that go no, with it. No, you're, it, you're confusing multiple things there. Okay, no, I'm just thinking I would suggest that, that we focus on, you know, focus on the numbers that you're okay. concerned with here, but I think hypotheticals of what might happen just as easily mm -hmm. if for some reason, I go on, Fred renews his contract, I move to another position, they may choose not to fill it. So hypotheticals are really challenging to do this. The number is the number. Okay. Um, the net total savings to the town based on the town deciding, the board deciding to take a full-time position, mm -hmm. convert it to a part-time position, and distribute those duties throughout that new position. That's what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. I, I watched the meeting on TV and I was, was like, what? <laughs> that caught me off guard. I want to just interject something here from a technical standpoint. You're, even <coughs> though we have a position, a new position, which is a question all by itself, we also have now eliminated another position. This is some of the maneuverability you have in a default budget. The problem is down the road, and the only reason I'm asking the hypotheticals for down the road is that that's where the decisions will weigh heavily. As it sits right now, we have swapped one position for another position. <coughs> the new position is half of the old position at less cost, totally, which is why it's difficult to just look at this piece without having the legal component, but this was a good way to start tonight. So it is the whole package, but since this is a public record, I felt necessary to say, well, these are some of the arguments we may come back with mm -hmm. down the road, because sooner or later, that will become an issue. Either this position, the new position will be expanded, or the old position that Wanda had as second attorney on the staff will come up again. That being said, Steve, do you have anything else since I interrupted you? I'm just going to leave it at um, the management made a decision. The town manager and the selectmen together made a decision, and and hence we have an assistant town manager. You will Monday, yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you, Richard. I just want to follow up on some of the comments that you made, Eileen. That, you know, it was a long, hard battle, both uh, by the legal department, to get another attorney. And uh, Attorney Gerald presented a very uh, positive case of why he needed that. And I, when we and the town approved the uh, appointment or a uh, second position in the, in the legal department, I w really wasn't aware that human resources became one of the primary functions of that position. <coughs> My feeling was, yes, you know, uh, legal needs another attorney. And there was a long, hard battle, and we did get a second attorney. So, I, again, I just say that again, that I wasn't sure that, I wasn't quite aware that human resources became that part of an important part of that position. So now, we're, if we follow through with this whole thing, Legal is back down to a 50% cut in its staffing, and if I, and I looked, I just went ahead to look at the the, le the proposed budget for legal, and I don't see I see a decrease of 28% in the regular wages, so I don't see any proposal yet by legal to fill that position. There is not. There is. There is not. There is so. Not. The, the Board of Selectmen and the Town Manager made the decision. That's right. I agree take with that, that full-time position yep. when, when one unexpectedly passed to take those duties 
and distribute them in a new manner, and that's what they've done. Well, again, my feeling is that legal needs two <coughs> positions, and I am reluctant to see that cut in half and moved over, or the, uh, the money part of it moved over to another position. So I'm just going to, I think, I think Mike's got a good point, you know, uh, let's, let's let it go through the process and see what happens with the, how the public feels about it. But of course we do have to make our own decision here tonight, but anyway, all right, that's, that's all I have. I basically have three concerns. One is that the province of this board to manage the managers in the sense of they have a right to determine who they need for employees. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Secondly, I don't think we have enough information absent town council's presentation of the impact of this on his group to make a, an intelligent decision. And my third is in the form of a question. Has a contract been signed already? Yes. Okay. So we should get the legal implications of the fact that there is a contract. If you, if, if are we now legally bound to honor the contact the con town entered into with the people who entered into it, had the authority to do so. You're not bound by the contract, but you, what your concern is, is the budget itself. Right. You can always choose not to fund something. Mm -hmm. That is the right of the budget committee. Yeah, I realize that. You didn't enter in the contract. None of us here did. No, but if the budget committee fails to fund the position that is legally binding by contract, the town may still have the obligation to pay. You have you have a twenty-seven million dollar request sitting here. Right. Twenty-seven million dollars. There will be a way to fund that. Con I'm just giving you the real. There'll be a way to fund that contract. <coughs> All right. That's the reality of. <laughs> the bottom line on a budget. And it, I think this this has been answered many times before by your committee. You folks don't set policy, the Board of Selectmen do. But you deal with money. You okay. can voice your displeasure by cutting money. Now that may mean that something else is going to get cut because they do have obligations. That, But that's not new. This has happened many times before. So, um, so noted. <clears throat> I still am not comfortable that we couldn't end up paying for a position we don't fund because of a legal obligation by contract. I'll let it rest there. Jim? Um, <clears throat> setting aside whether or not the board uh, agrees with this or not, getting to the numbers, the number uh, that I'm looking at under regular wages appears to be, give or take a couple of dollars, a uh, $100,000 increase. Um, over the over the other budget, you made the comment earlier that, in effect, we're saving money. <coughs> Can you walk me through that? Only through the position, um, <coughs> the funding for the position that I'm going to be in. So what the selectmen have done is, when you look at the funding total package for what was the assistant town attorney's position, fully loaded. Can you give me? Can I? Can I just stop you? Sure. Um, can I get some hard numbers? We can supply them to you, sure. I think the selectman went over those at, at the last meeting. We could forward a copy to you, sure. Only be, only because I'm, you know, you're, you're telling me that we're saving money, and that's great if yep. we're saving money, yep. but I'd like to look at the actual numbers yep. on how I'm saving money. Yeah, off the top of my head, the total numbers, as I re recollect them, or something like the total lo loaded package for the assistant town attorney was like 94, 95 and change. The total loaded package for the new position, uh, plus some of the... Um, uh, money to the administrative assistant somewhere in the 87 range, something like that. Okay. As I said, it's not a huge savings, but there is a net savings to the town. Because I'm sure anyone looking at this or listening hears someone say yeah. we're increasing the budget by 100000 but we're really saving you money. May Keep in mind there's, there's two other functions in there besides the, this position that we've been discussing. Um, there is the new contract and pay raise associated with the town manager's mm -hmm. salary, as well as a raise for the uh, assistant separate from the other discussion. So there's really three elements in there. Okay. If okay. I could just get those numbers, I'd certainly. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, 
First of all, Jerry is absolutely correct. There's no other town in New Hampshire the size of Hampton that has three as a town manager, assistant town manager, and a very well-paid administrative assistant. Um, I'm beginning to worry about Fred's health and how this has all come together. He's been out numerous times. Can I just say, I, I don't know that that's an appropriate thing that we should be talking yeah, about on employees' health, sir. It's not, not appropriate. Glenn, you're new here, but to talk about an individual and the conditions is not. Okay. We, we stick to the money. Okay. Um, then I will say that I am very upset with the Board of Selectmen and the process they used, a secret meeting. We don't go there either. To get all this done. Non-public, yeah, that's what you mean. Yes, non-public. There are things that will come through. And according to Hampton's personnel policy, it, it, it was an illegal non-public meeting. Thank you. There are things here, gentlemen, that we did a pretty good job last year of not crossing the lines on what is policy. We have to stick to the money and the dollars and cents as they pertain. <coughs> to what we are doing in formulating a budget when it comes to personnel actually when it comes to anything that comes under the heading of policy we cannot touch it um, i know some of you are new and sometimes the lines seem a little bit blurred but <laughs> you'll find me reminding you when inadvertently sometimes we cross that line that we're going into a policy area that we cannot affect not here you're free to Go before the Board of Selectmen at any point in time as citizens um, and voice your concerns there. But here, if we can start our year and stick to the numbers, um, we'll be doing well. Thank are, you. Are you going to go back around? Uh, I think we've ex exhausted this one. And before I ask if there's somebody that has a motion on this, I'm going to throw out that you have the opportunity to table it until we've discussed the legal department and then maybe go back and revisit the total but I'll leave it to the floor for any motion may I just since we're attacked the <laughs> selectmen I think it's only I'm just I just want to say that <laughs> that you know that there is a savings in the hard numbers you know you can get for them and, and that in in conjunction that we we did consult with the legal department too before making the change we didn't take the you know the legal department also had discussion on on whether they needed the, the second attorney at this time and as we all know things change mm -hmm. so it might have been a real need for a legal uh, person a second one prior and then it became more of an HR position than anything else or, or negotiating contracts and things like that which Jamie had you know experience with so you know there was legal comp there was consultation on both sides and stuff so I just wanted to make that clear I'd like to make a motion that we table it until we get the numbers to satisfy Mr. O'Leary, right? O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin, I'm sorry. Close, though. I'm Go sorry. Ahead. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. Uh, I saw. Well, no, he got the second. What was the discussion? Who's going to be second? Pick one. <laughs> it's the power you have with the pen. Sonny, 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 Sonny second. And Rich was pointing at Sonny, so I got uh, it. No, I was for, uh, just right. for discussion. We're going to for discussion. The discussion. Yeah, I got it. All right, I will start on this side of the table and come around. Discussion. One minute discussion on this. None. Fine. Rich. Oh, the Bob? current motion, as I understand it, to table it until certain numbers are presented. Yes, Mr. Laughlin's uh, request. I would suggest we table it until the legal department is present and presents. You want to add that to the motion? Yeah. Are I'd you like comfortable with changing the motion? I have no problem with that. Do you want to make it both? Yes. So we mm -hmm. have both of them in hand? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to make any decision if the legal department's totally in agreement with what has happened. We should certainly be aware of that. That was the point I was going to make. That uh, let's get some more information on the actual uh, dollar amounts and okay. also the opinion of legal or whether or not uh, we're going to go forward with this. So I'll, I'd be in favor of tabling this for okay. further information. For discussion, anybody on this side? Do no, I, I, Brian. The only just thing going I, around did, I was at the meeting and it was a five percent savings. Okay. Just to live with. I'd like to see the numbers. Right, but I'm just saying because I was there, it's 
the information. I, I certainly have. would like to have the town attorney right here as we yep. ask. Okay, him. so we may we may want to wait until he comes in. Mm -hmm. No sense in bringing him in twice. He'll be before us. Mm -hmm. But you know, not too distant future. It's batters up here. We're the budget committee, and it's batters up. We can't table everything, and we can't procrastinate. We got to see it, and we got to make the call. If you want to table this, that's fine. We'll wait until the legal get fellow Mark comes in, and we can. And we can ask him point blank and look at him straight in the eye. Um, but this is this if this is going to be our budget, it batters up eventually. All right. Discussions we have over. A motion. Yeah, we have a motion seconded. All those in favor of tabling this for future discussion. Everybody. Um, no, it's not everybody. Okay. All right. Yeah. Opposed. <laughs> Jim Waddell is opposed, and no one abstains. Correct? Mm -hmm. So all you have That's to do right. is put Jim Modell as a post. Just All right.